Hi friend and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. This powerful prophetic word comes from Axel Sipek, Sebeck, Washington. Critical Kingdom Relationships Being at the right place at the right time, with the right people, doing the right thing, having the right message, it's not just a cute slogan. It's what some of us in the apostolic movement call Cornelius connections, taken from the book of Acts, where Holy Spirit orchestrated kingdom connection between the apostle Peter and the Roman centurion Cornelius. It resulted in a powerful historic move of God as the Spirit of God was first poured out upon Gentiles. This initiated a new thing that had been prophesied in the Old Testament would come. I can honestly say that at different milestones over the past 40 years of my ministry in the nations, God has supernaturally orchestrated these kinds of Cornelius connections, kingdom relationships. And I have also learned that one key really helps facilitate this besides prayer, of course. It's staying in a place of faith, of expectancy, also being very alert and sensitive to the Holy Spirit and his leading. One must also be discerning in the Spirit to know which connections are heaven sent and which may be straight from hell to try to derail you and your ministry. One of the ways God expands his kingdom through us is by us being sensitive to the key kingdom relationships that he wants to build to us. There are certain people you must meet, you must connect with, they are linked to your destiny. If you're not walking in the Spirit, being led by Him, you can miss those heaven-appointed, those heaven-orchestrated moments. If you maintain a high level of faith, a high level of expectancy, being very serious about this in your destiny, I guarantee you will begin to see the increase in the supernatural phenomenon in your life. And do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some people have entertained angels without even knowing it. Hebrews 13.2 there are times where your divine connection may not exactly look like what you're expecting. You must, like God, look at the heart, in the spirit, not discerned by outer appearance, or you could easily miss it because you're distracted on the wrong thing. There will be a witness in your spirit. The peace of God will be your umpire, letting you know if you're in the game or not. You'll be led forth with peace and joy. Like the prophet Isaiah said, these are the keys to knowing that you're on the right track. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Lord, I pray that you would bring critical kingdom relationships for my friend. Friend, your destiny is tied to people. Someone got you saved. You are in turn to get someone else saved. The Lord is looking for souls. He's want to, he wants to populate heaven. We want to rob hell and populate heaven. Lord, I thank you that you are bringing about critical kingdom relationships in this hour. Lord, I pray for discernment, that we would know that the peace of God would be our, our, our litmus test, that we would know that we are hearing from God. So to say, this Cornelius in front of us is God-ordained, is a, is a God moment, a God connection. And I thank you, Father, that you are, you are putting yourself on display through powerful, critical kingdom connections. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.